Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Virgo for April 1st to the 15th, 2020. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos as somebody out there might actually enjoy them. <clears throat> Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. So, um, I would also like to add to that, we're all about true love around here. Happy, friendly, and loving types, right? Nothing to fear because we are calm and we are very cheerful. So, let's go ahead and get started for that reading for Virgo for April 1st to the 15th, 2020. As you notice here, also I have three stones, and I would like you to think of a question, and at the end of the reading, I will reveal the answer to your question through these stones. So you have plenty of time during the reading to figure out which stone is actually, like, calling out to you during the reading, right? Which, which stone you get targeted on while I'm doing the reading, okay? Um, and at the end of the reading, I will reveal all the answers. All right, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started with Virgo. For April 1st to the 15th, 2020, this is for Virgo, okay? General energy for Virgo is... The Ace of Cups. So it looks like you're looking forward to a new start, Virgo, or wanting a new start somewhere along these lines, right? Let's go ahead and find out what we got going on here for Virgo for April 1st to the 15th, 2020. This is for Virgo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. This is for Virgo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. The next cards out I have for Virgo are... We have the Two of Cups. Very nice. It looks like that you want to share your emotions with somebody and them with you. But you're in hermit mode right now, so you're unable to do that, all right? We do have the Ace of Coins, so this is a new financial start. But you're also wanting a new start in emotions, okay? So there's already a lot of emotions flowing here, all right? Do have a lot of emotions flowing here for you, Virgo. There's um, somebody you want to share your emotions with. And, and for some reason, you're going within about it, okay? Maybe somebody has offered marriage to you. I don't know. Or maybe you want to offer marriage to somebody. Wow. Very interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and find out what's next here. For Virgo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. For Virgo. April 1st to the 15th, 2020. For Virgo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. <sighs> April 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Virgo. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, you guys. All right, so the next three cards I have out are... Okay, we have the Sun card. So you do see someone as your son or somebody sees you as their son. And emotions want to be shared. They sure do. Somebody's going to actually come into you with the truth about a certain situation. All right? And they're also, it seems that they um, are bringing a situation to, the, to an end. All right? Now, this could have been in regards to a new start financially. But something is ending here now, Virgo. What's going on here? <clears throat> Let's get the next three cards out. All right, because we knew, we all know that the world card is completion, integration, and accomplishment, right? It's also travel. Somebody may be traveling to you, or you might be traveling to another person to have this Ace of Coins um, new start, right? This new financial start. So let's see what we have next here. All right, we have the Empress. Wow, so this is who you think is your sunshine, right? The Empress there. Whoa, you want to ask for marriage, or they want to ask you for marriage. <laughs> oh, my gosh, we got three-party situation, or we have celebration here. Okay, I'm feeling like it's celebration, okay? I'm not really feeling the three-party situation here. No, no, no. Somebody wants to share their emotions with you. They see you as the sun. They see you as the Empress. All right? Virgo, the Empress, that's how they see you, right? They want to marry you. They want celebrations and happiness, right? Wow. They want to also tell you the truth about some three-party situations that may have happened in the past. All right, they might want to tell you about that and what was going on in that situation because it might not be three-party situation like you think. 
It might actually be um, meddling family members or, you know, friends or something like that. You know, everybody butting their nose into everybody's business. You know what I mean? So that's what I see here. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and find out what are the next three cards for a Virgo for April 1st to the 15th, 2020. What was that? Two cards flew out. They're both in the reverse, too. We have the moon and the queen of peppermills. It looks like there's going to be no more secrets between you and another person. Okay, and that's good. If you're trying to start a new relationship out, it's very good to come clean, right? And that's what this whole reading is about. It's all based on telling the truth here for you, Virgo, okay? This is all up in your energy, telling the truth. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, find out what are the next three cards for Virgo? What are the next three cards for Virgo, please? All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Good, good, good. Wanting to get together uh, and give your emotions to a single woman. This could be you also, Virgo, okay? This is a single woman who is financially stable and can take care of herself. All right? And somebody wants to share their emotions with her, or if that's you, they want to share it with you. Here we go, King of Hats right here. This is who's in the hermit mode about telling you this, okay, about giving you these emotions. He's, he's having a hard time. He could. He is a water sign, and he's having a hard time uh, giving those emotions, which is unbelievable because water signs are super emotional, right? But there will be justice here in that new beginning, okay? This will happen, okay? Let's see what's next here. What are the next three cards? All right. So somebody is definitely looking into a single person who is single. They want to, uh, uh, this is a lady. She's financially single and they want to give their emotions to her, right? They want a new start. They want a justice in a situation, right? Uh, this person wants to share emotions big time. So what are the three next, the next three cards for Virgo? All right. We have the nine of wands. So yeah. He, uh, whoever this is, is looking at you, Virgo, as their sunshine, right? And they want to fight for you one more time. They sure do. They want to come in with some truth. Yeah, they see you as a queen of hats. So you could be the queen of hats or you could be the king of hats. All right. But this is uh, somebody who is wanting to get married, you know, so you may not be married yet, but they see you as an emotional person. You see them as an emotional person and perhaps... They're ready for marriage with you. This king of hats, though, he's got cold feet, though. All right? This is why he's in hermit mode. He's got cold feet. He ha he knows he has to tell you the truth about something, right? He has to tell you the truth. It might even be about a marriage, right? Either it could be about a marriage or, or it could be because they have some truth to tell you about a marriage or they want to marry you, right? <clears throat> All right, so this person has also been in conflict in their mind, all right? They're trying to move forward, trying to have justice in a situation, or trying to end a situation of conflict, okay? And it could be in regards to three-party situations. So your person could possibly be involved with somebody else, <clears throat> and they're trying to separate themselves from that three-party situation, right? There's a lot of fighting going on there. There might be in the justice system also. <sighs> Sorry about that, you guys. So, yeah, that's what it looks like here. Somebody's still trying to battle something. Um, it could actually be <clears throat> Virgo. Um, this King of Hats and this Queen of Hats energy on the same row right here. Um, this is a married couple, okay? Or a couple that's planning on getting married, right? I do see there's, there's already a lot of fighting here. See, this could be you, somebody wanting to come to you with cold feet to ask you to marry. Or this could be a couple that's married. There's going to be something going on in the justice system. Because they, you know, as, as soon as you started this relationship I'm seeing with somebody, it ended. Yeah. It never really got off the ground. Not at all. Mm-mm-mm. Not for this King of Hats and this Queen of Hats, anyways. It sure didn't. It did for the <laughs> it did for the Nine of Pentacles lady, for the single lady. It sure did for her. She's the Empress. There we have it. She's the Empress. She's the sunshine. Everybody wants to fight for her. Big time. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's see what's next. This is very, very interesting. All right, let's see. Ah. All right. So what are the next three cards uh for Virgo? for April 1st to the 15th. Whoa, what was that? This is the Ten of Swords, and it was in the reverse. Thank goodness, right? 
So somebody's getting out of being, uh, feeling like they're being deceived or backstabbed. There's no more of that energy going on here. And you know what's so funny? If that would have went on the uh, cards, it would have went on the Empress. Thank goodness Empress is not getting backstabbed anymore. Because I'll tell you what, she's the Empress because of all the backstabbing she's got. And I don't think she wants any more. Okay? So we have three more cards here. We have the Seven of Swords. You see, still deception going on with this Empress. Darn it. It's okay. It helps her grow. Okay? Uh, she has some deceit going on here. All right. I also see her walking away from a marriage, okay, or a situational marriage, right? Also, I see the Six of Wands here. So there's going to be victory over situation in regards to this Three of Cups, right? Three-party situation. There was a lot of fighting going on. Something did come to an end, though, okay? We have the justice system that is here, justice. Uh, justice in regards to this new start. I don't know. I don't think it's happening. Like I said, just as quick as it start started, it seemed like it ended it right away. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we got King of Pepper Mills, King of Wands there, okay? Uh, you could be holding that energy with a lot of passion. What's this? Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, somebody in their head up at night. So it could be that this King of Pepper Mills is up late at night thinking about things, right? Somebody is. And I don't know about this new start of emotion, you know. I think there were new starts that well, somebody was trying to have, uh, but they wanted these new starts, in, you know, in finances, okay, finances. Um, and it didn't seem to uh, get off the ground. So now justice has to come in and straighten everything out because there's a lot of fighting here. Somebody wants to put an end to a situation involving three parties. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be victory here, right? As soon as they walk away, though, right? As soon as they walk away from this marriage or this whatever they got going on here. Yeah, there's a marriage here that's not good. All right. I know that it doesn't. There's no bad cards except for walking away. But somebody's definitely walking away from a marriage. Okay. Um, I also see that the King of Hats, uh, I think, has emotions for this uh, single lady, uh, and this is where the beginning and the justice may come in. Right. Single lady is also the Empress. So if it is the Empress, all right. I do see justice coming in for the king of halves with the single lady, right? There's going to be emotions shared, all right? This person thinks of this person as a sunshine, right? Wants to fight for it one more time. But I also see the empress here. She's getting deceived because, you know, this single lady is the empress. You know, same row, same energies, right? Same row, same energies, right? King of Cups, uh, Queen of uh, Queen of Hats is also radiating with the um, energies of the empress, right? Because in this de uh, in in some some decks, the Queen of Hats is the Empress, right? This is why the King of Hats is possibly walking away from the Queen of Hats. You know, this per that's where this deception may have come in. Maybe the Queen of Hats was expecting uh, the truth, expecting a new start, expecting marriage, but somebody actually walked away from it. Mm, okay, I see that's what happened here. Somebody walked away from an offer. Somebody didn't want to get married. Somebody walked away. Somebody wanted a new start, right? And this guy, I think, yeah, I think he did have some cold feet. He walked away, right? And uh, anyways, going through some justice and legal battles in regards to something also, okay? Yeah, I think somebody got cold feet for this empress, single lady, abundant woman. And uh, that's where this deception came in, you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and find out the next three cards for Virgo. What are the next three cards for Virgo for April 1st to the 15th, 2020? April 1st to the 15th, 2020. All right, so the next cards I have out for Virgo are we have uh, the Five of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, this King of Hats, he has some cold feet, I think, in regards to this Queen of Hats, right? I'm seeing this Queen of Hats. Not a single lady of uh, pentacles and the empress as the same person, you guys, because they are all intertwined, interlinked somehow. And this is how I get it. And she's, this is telling a story about her. This is telling a story about what happened with them. And this is telling the story about what's going to happen in the end. I do see the five of pentacles here. And yes, like I said, he got cold feet, left her out in the cold. Okay. Which I mean, she's okay. She's upset. She's hurt. Well, you know, but she's financially stable. It's not like he left her high and dry, but he did leave her emotionally high and dry. Okay, and that sucks too. All right. 
So I do see here we have the Queen of Swords. This King of Hats could be involved with the Queen of Swords. Okay, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, right? And this person is going within about that. And this is why uh, somebody had to walk away from the situation, right? There's too many involved here, three party. This is why it's not really working out. Page of Cups, there could also be a child involved. This is why you got to go to the justice system, right? There may have to be some new uh, payments and child support uh, starting, you know, Ace of Coins. So that could be uh, somebody having to pay some sort of new child support on a child. All right. That's what I see. That's what I see. All right. So uh, what do we have for Virgo? The next three cards out for Virgo. April 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Virgo. The next three cards out are... Okay, we have the Queen of Rods. Wow, we got all kinds of people popping up here, right? Queen of Rods. So this Empress and... Um, this, what was it? Ah, the single lady, right? Because a single lady doesn't tell us who she is. She doesn't really say what sign it is, okay? So um, the empress is a single lady, okay? The empress could also be, uh, she could also have fire in her chart, right? Yeah, she's the sun. Check it out. This could be a Leo right here, okay? Somebody wants to fight for this queen of rods, this Leo, all right, this she's the empress. All right, she because she's passionate. They see the passionate side of this empress, right? Um, <clears throat> they may not have seen the really emotional side. They've seen the passionate side. That's for darn sure. Okay, so let's see the next one. There she is again. This is her. This is why I'm telling you guys how I can tell who people are in this. Okay, this person definitely. This is like triple confirmation that this all this is right here. This is the same in one person, and this is the same person. We're still talking about the same person when the story goes this way, too, okay? And and when it goes this way, and when it goes this way. So this person, this single lady, this empress, is involved in this whole entire thing. She's at the center. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's going to be some truth coming into her, okay? There's going to be truth coming into her, Virgo, um, about something, okay? This might be you actually bringing this truth. This is who you may be dealing with, all right? You could be with that energy of the King of Cups wanting this new start, okay? Um, you could also be dealing with the Queen of Swords, okay? Queen of Swords, like I said, same person because the Queen of Swords is also, can be the Empress. You could be dealing with a Libra, all right, and, and it seems that there's all these issues with this. Okay, I'm just going to call her the Empress, all right? The Empress with all these signs, okay? I'm just going to call her that because it's it's apparent that Spirit wants us to know, look, this is the same person when you're explaining the story, and that's how we want you to do it. And that's why they're filling all these areas up with the Empress, okay? Everything that relates to Empress. Libra and Taurus for Empress, Empresses in normal decks or queen of hearts. All right. We have the sun card here on the same road describing one person. We have a single woman that doesn't tell us what sign or who she is. It's just a single woman. Here she is. Queen of rods. Here she is. The empress. All right. This is who this is. This is the empress. She's single. She's abundant and she's passionate and she's getting deceived. She's getting deceived by this guy. The King of Cups, all right? So you could either be on the Empress side or you can be on the King of Cups side, Virgo. You got to choose it. Uh, let's see. Maybe if another card comes out, we got to find it, right? Let's see. What's the next card? Oh, you guys, I can't believe we got the Empress again. So, you know, this could actually be you, uh, Virgo, if you are female and you are in the Empress mode. But as far as I see here, the Empress is all around this reading. She's all, it's almost like if you're dealing with the Empress, Virgo, you cannot get your freaking mind off of her. That's what I, and, and you know, the reason being, you walked away from your Empress. <laughs> can't believe it. And she's all up in your head like this? Yeah, you walked away from the Empress and you're feeling guilty. You're feeling bad because you love this person. You freaking love this person. What did you do? Why are you walking away from this love? It's it's like there's so much deception going on for this empress. And all she's doing is just sitting there waiting. <laughs> Look, she's just sitting there. Why is all this shit happening to me, right? Let's find out what the next three cards are here. Here we go, okay? 
Virgo, if you got something to say to the Empress, I suggest you say it. You know, because the Empress is abundant and it's it appears that she's all up in your head. You need to make amends with this person if there's problems here, right? Look at that. We have the Eight of Wands. There's going to be deception coming into this Empress about this Eight of Wands. She's going to find out about passions that were sent to her. That's the deception. She saw that somebody was sharing passions, okay? Now, you could be dealing with two different Empresses here also. Now that I look at this, you could be dealing with an Empress that you could be shacked up and, and hooked up with right now, okay? Or, uh, yeah, that's one, one part. Or... Or and, not or, but and, you could be shacked up with another empress that you actually want to get with, okay? Uh, this empress right here could not, is maybe not your empress. She may be another person's empress, right? That's a possibility, but I doubt it, okay? Uh, I'm still thinking that this is all one person, but if it doesn't resonate that way as one person, and it resonates uh, as two different empresses, and go for that, okay? Whatever you think, right? You are the creator of your own destiny. You know your own story. And, you know, that's it, right? That's all. All right. So let's move along here. What's the next card out? Victory, victory, victory. So after somebody walks away from a marriage or some relationship, they're going to have victory, all right? I do see that they're going to have victory with the Queen of Swords. That is the sunshine. That is the Empress. That's the one they want to move forward with, right? Not with the one who is the Queen of Rods, okay? This is a different Empress, I think, all right? This is where I'm seeing. Somebody's going to have victory with an Empress that has uh, uh, air in her chart. How about that? Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? Let's find out what the final card here is. Ace of Pentacles, having a new start after this Three of Cups energy, having celebration and victory. Yeah, somebody's going to find out about deception. Somebody was passionate with another. This Empress was passionate with another, right? And um, I think what may have happened... Uh, is somebody ran away from this relationship because of that deception. They And, and once they do that, they're going to have victory and a new start. Um, victory, a new financial start with um, celebration with the Empress, right? This is a different Empress, a new Empress coming in, right? And this is an Empress from somebody's past who they've had arguments with before, right? They've already shared their emotions with it. Look at that, the Justice card. Yeah, you're dealing with a Libra here also. That's an Empress. Libra Empress here. We have a Fire Sign Empress here. And, and we actually just may have, uh, to. we may get to see that, uh, that this King of Hats and this Three of Cups, they're all linked somehow uh, with him hooking up with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Rods, okay? And this is how these two women became empresses, is dealing with this fucker, right? All right, so whoever this is, who, uh, whoever uh, was dealing, whoever's dealing with the Queen of Rods and the Queen of Cups, that person is um, the person that's putting those two ladies in three-party situation, all right? And this person has put these ladies through so much that they have both gotten to graduate to friggin' Empress Hood, okay? Because they both went through some bullshit, all right? So you got to take it, Virgo, which side you're on, all right? Um, I do see you're feeling left out in the cold, so I'm feeling that you may be uh, radiating with this Queen of Cups energy right now um, and some fire energy too, right? But uh, just know that in the end, you're going to have victory and your financial start will be there, all right? And it will be with this Empress, okay? Yeah, you're going to have this new start. You're going to have justice and all this, okay? So that's what I see for you so far with those cards. Oh, look at looky, looky, deception. So just watch out for deception, lies, and stuff like that. Do not accept somebody to come back to you so quickly. Make sure that you know that they mean what they mean when they come back. Instead of saying something like, Oh, I promise I'm going to be there for you. I pro don't, you know, just say, okay, well, let me see, all right? Let me see, you know, because I don't know how far this person wants to take it. There's somebody's going to, 
so, you, you know, you or somebody's going to want to start something new, come back and speak to you about something, but <clears throat> I'm just telling you just to be careful and make sure that you, you really check out everything that whoever is saying to you because, you know, you don't want to be going through cycles again of deception. Look at that deception card right there. There's a king of pepper mills. That's king of wands, okay? So there could be a king of wands in your environment, very passionate person, okay? And uh, this person may be plotting some deception for you. So be careful, okay, Virgo? All right, we have the darkest fears. Your darkest fears, I think, are not uh, being able to get or make the right choice here, all right? Making the wrong choice, all right? I also see that you have a new vitality in your life, so there's a possibility that you have healed yourself or passed through some cycles in life that has actually brought you uh, to a higher consciousness, right? Help and hopeless. Look at that. Look, you got two two paths that you got to choose from, and uh, you're feeling helpless and hopeless right now. Possibly because we can't get out the house, can't go anywhere, feeling stuck. Which road should I take? You don't know because you can't get out the house, <laughs> right? Okay, so. What's at the bottom of this deck? Oh, love abounds. Okay, so that's what that uh, helpless and hopeless is. You are wanting to reach out or get to somebody, but you can't. We can't. We can't move. Nobody can move right now, all right? And you're you're just sitting in your head in these fears like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? Because you have a new vitality now. You have a new outlook on life. It's like a new you, you know, and you are ready to step out there and show this person but you can't move, right? We can't go beyond the steps because we are all quarantined right now, right? So basically what's going on here is somebody's feeling stuck that they can't move forward the way they want to, okay? Uh, this could be you, Virgo, or somebody could be wanting to move towards you, you know, wanting to have that new uh, love with you, new emotions. Somebody has new vitality. Could be this King of Cups energy. You could be in that King of Cups energy. This could be you, Virgo, wanting to move forward to someone else. You could be worried about these fears. You know, don't worry, Virgo. Uh, no, nah, this is almost the end of a cycle. Look, 9 plus 1 is 10. It's going to be an end of a cycle before you know it. All right? And then we have it reducing down to 1, which is a new cycle. 1 and 8 is 9. Wow. Yeah, so feeling helpless and hopeless is also going to end soon. All right, so you're going to be able to get out there and get to who you need to get to to give them that special message of love that you want to give if this is what you wanted to do, okay? Let's go ahead and find out what are the next uh, three cards for Virgo. What are the next three cards for Virgo? What kind of advice or what kind of information does the universe want to leave for us with these last few cards? Whoa! Okay, peace. Peace. Keep in the peace. I'm not going to take it, but I will read it to you because Virgo wants, I mean, uh, Virgo, <laughs> because the universe wants Virgo to know uh, this is an extra. So we do have peace. I am being, I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. Fantastic, right? That's because that's how we do around here, right, you guys? True love, happy, friendly, loving. Nothing to fear because we're calm and cheerful, right? So keep that peace in mind, okay? That's a piece of, a good piece of information. <laughs> you get it, you guys? Good piece of information. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so the next three cards we have out are regret. I know that I cannot change the past. And you know what? I was living in a lot of regret, and I still do kind of for certain situations, not for relationships or anything. But, you know, we, we have to realize, you and me both, that we can't change the past. We really can't. Even though we wish we could, we just can't. And the damage is done, okay? So all we can do is move forward. All right, so you need to forget any kind of regrets you have for any individuals or any kind of situations because it's just not worth it. It's not worth your stress. It's not worth your tears, right? All right, the next card we have out is grief. And like with regret, you do go through grieving, all right? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. 
Yeah. You never really appreciate what you've lost until it's gone. And you always wonder if, you know, you could have saved it or fixed it or done anything like that. But um, sometimes all you can do is grieve and remember the good times that you've had. And, uh, yeah. So you need to go through that grieving process, I think, right now. Virgo, there's something going on with you that you're grieving over, that you regret that you did, but you need to put that past you, okay? Because whoever you're grieving about is a real friend of yours. You may have lost somebody very close to you, Virgo, okay? This could have been a very close friend. You may have regrets in the situation, um, and you're grieving over it right now, but... I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So if you are um, at odds with somebody, Virgo, it seems that you need to go back and try to uh, rek rekindle that friendship because <clears throat> no matter what the past was like, okay, we are all going through shit, you guys. All right, we're all going through shit right now. There's no, the, the life is so short. There's no time to be upset about what has happened in the past. It, there, it really isn't. You guys, come on now. You know, people are here today and gone tomorrow. You need to get past this regret and this grief and bring that friendship back into your life, okay? Bring that friendship that brought you happiness, okay? Because if anybody, even during these times where we need to all pull together, if anybody is still trying to fuck with you in this life that we're in this shit that we're going through right now, that's a fucking low life, you guys. We're all suffering right now, and we're all going through something right now. And if still somebody wants to hurt another person, even while we're going through all this bullshit, that's a fucking idiot. That's an asshole. You know, you don't want to deal with people like that. Trying to fuck with you during these times of need that everybody is, is worried, you know, about their health, about their families, about their friends, and there's still somebody in the background trying to fuck with you, that, fu that fucking sucks. I'm just saying, I don't even know, I don't even know what's more to say about that. At the bottom of this deck, it says, Doubt, I release the need to know all the answers. Okay, so maybe there's, uh, maybe in your environment, you or somebody else, you feel like you need to know all the answers to everything. Well, right now, you just don't. Right now, you just don't. Right now, you just need to heal yourself. You know, get past all these fucking things of the past, okay? Let go of all these regrets and this grief that you have because of things that you fucked up with. We all fuck up, okay? But... If the universe wants us to come back together with others or whatever, we will get that sign and we will do that. But at this present time, all you can do right now is just try to heal yourself. And just know when we get out of this, you know, hibernation that we're in, this, um, you know, we can't get out of here. We're, we're, you know, we're in quarantine. Once we get out of this quarantine, then by that time, hopefully you will realize who your real friends are, who are the people that you really care about and love. I just saw 3313, so that might... Um, that might resonate for somebody, okay? <clears throat> but, yeah, you know, um, take this time out to look within. Go within yourself. Think about your life and think about the people around you and what they have done to you, what they've done for you, how they've boosted you up or how they've pushed you down. You know, think about that, Virgo, because um, I don't know. I just feel like I need to tell you that because I feel like you're not seeing some things. People are deceptive. People are deceptive and selfish, and all they think about is themselves. So, Virgo, try to look out for people like that, you know. Somebody's trying to be deceptive in your life here, and I just want you to be careful, okay? All right, so if you did um, <clears throat> have a question and you feel that one that your answer to your question is under one of these stones, well, let's get started and find out what answers are under those stones, okay? So if you chose stone number one to answer your question, let's find out what's going on here. All right, we have the Roadrunner. This is mental speed and agility. There's somebody who's very intelligent here, somebody who's really sharp, right? They got a lot of intelligence, okay? The, uh, the answer to your question, Virgo, is yes. And it appears you could be dealing with an Aries, um, but with the Four of Wands here, it also appears that somebody wants to move a relationship to another level, okay? So let's go to the second uh, card here. <clears throat> 
We have the bear paw, and this is strength and mobility, right? Somebody is trying to be strong enough to move forward, to be mobile, to go towards their empress. This is the empress card. The answer to your question is yes, Virgo. And that, that is the empress, okay? And she is there. Somebody's moving towards. This is a divinely guiding, a divinely guided uh, experience right here. And uh, you could be dealing with a Libra. Right, you got empress all friggin' over this. All right, Virgo. So you got the empress on your mind. You cannot let go of what happened in the past. Let that go, okay? This empress most likely she friggin' loves you, dude, or dudette. You could be swapped the energies, okay? Um, this person loves you. I'm just telling you right now, and you can't get this person off your mind. Guaranteed, they can't get you off their mind. And once this is over. Uh, I suggest you go to the florist, you buy a big ass fucking bundle of roses, and you step up to that person, you apologize, you tell them that the friendship is more important to you than anything else, and just watch that you will have success there. I mean, you don't have to do that. I'm just saying, it's a good idea. All right, so we have the raven, and this is a trickster. This is a mischievous person that might be in your life. This could be you, all right? Just saying, could be you. All right, but let me see what we got here. Answer to your question is yes. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. And yes, it's okay to work things out with this person. That's what Spirit is saying. If you want to work something out with this person, this person's a trickster, mischievous person, you can work it out with them. But you can't be always dealing with those tricks and mischievousness. You really can't, you know, because sometimes, sure, it's about fun and play. But a lot of the times, it's all about work, getting together, working together as a team, and, um, you know, finding success together. You know what I'm saying? That's what that shit means. So, um, yeah. I'm not too bad, Virgo. Very emotional. I got a little bit choked up there momentarily, but we're all okay. Why? And the reason why we get choked up is because we're all about true love, right? Happy, friendly, and loving people. Nothing to fear. Calm and cheerful. Right? That's how we want things. That's how we are. That's how we radiate. Okay. I would like to also say, if you're interested in getting a reading from me, I am offering one question readings, 1111 11, uh, per reading, 15 to 30 minute video. Okay, you can also find that information in the click down, click in the drop down below. Um, you can also find in the drop down below uh, how you can uh, get a set of your own Star Word Oracles, and um, I do have the uh, tiny and the big. All right. So <clears throat> with that being said, thank you so much, Virgo. This was your reading for April 1st to the 15th. My name is Mona, and this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Definitely see you guys next time. Bye.